Hey guys! It's Sean and Gwen, once again reporting from our bedroom. This is not green screen technology, this is our actual functioning bedroom. We sleep and do other things in here. Fortunately for you, you'll just see us speaking. So that's our, pro that's our promise to you guys. Yeah. We watch a lot of TV in here. Yeah. Definitely. So Sean and I were talking about... <laughs> so... Anyways. <laughs> So Sean and I were talking today about what our health class or our sex education class was like. We had pretty different uh, experiences with health class in high school. Yeah, for me in high school, um, it was really interesting. There was like this assembly that was going to happen, um, talking about safe sex and AIDS. My parents actually got a call from the school giving me the option as to whether or not I wanted to go to this because, you know, I was HIV positive at the time already. I actually had decided I didn't want to go. The school was acting actually uh, compassionately, you know, thinking that this would probably bum Sean out having to sit through this whole thing and he's, he's already infected with HIV, so what's the point of a uh, safe sex assembly for him? Probably could have used some of that information. Going back before that, when I was diagnosed, I actually uh, wasn't allowed in health class and that's where a lot of sex education happens. So through junior high school and high school, I just missed out on, on pretty much everything that the school had to offer on that topic. And in a lot of ways, you probably needed that information even more than other students since you were already living with a sexually transmitted infection. Absolutely. Parents, you know, they would talk about, you know, sex. I think I needed a little bit more and uh, some of that information did not come from my parents. And I had a pretty different experience. I actually had a great health teacher in high school who taught us all kinds of uh, things about sexual health and health in general. I actually remember him bringing condoms and uh, diaphragms and all kinds of things into class to show us what they actually looked like and to teach us how to use them correctly. And at the time, I just thought, you know, that everyone was getting this kind of education. I'm very thankful that I felt pretty prepared for when I was gonna have sex and I at least knew about contraception and I at least knew about condoms and I knew that, that those were things that I needed to use. Nowadays, uh, what people receive in terms of sexual health education varies from high school to high school just based on, on where students are attending school, whether it's even mandatory. A lot of times people think sex education is something that should be taught at home. We, of course, are on the opposite side. We think, you know, every student should basically learn the same factual information. Well, I certainly think that sex education ideally would be taught at home and in schools but I know that a lot of parents are uncomfortable talking to their kids about sex. So we both agree that sexual health should not be politicized. Um, it should be a focus on the health aspect of that phrase. So many people get hung up on the sexual side of sexual health. And really it's not about that. It's about you know giving people the information they need to make wise decisions and to protect themselves from sexually transmitted infections or unwanted pregnancies. Because seriously, without some kind of sexual health in your classroom or your parents or even listening to us, I mean, if you're getting your sexual health information from Jersey Shore, you're in trouble. Sorry. If you're not getting the proper sex education at home or in your school, there are plenty of resources online. We'll have some links below um, as to where you can get the proper information you need about sexual health. And please uh, share that information with your friends as well. If you guys have any more questions or have any questions about sexual health or tell us what your health class is like because we're really interested to know what you're learning in school or what your parents are teaching you at home or where are you getting your information from. So please let us know in the comments below. That's all from us for now. You guys take care and we'll see you next time. Bye!